Police deployed more than 3,000 officers in central Athens who formed protective cordons outside parliament while a helicopter hovered over the central Syndagma Square. The clashes broke out after a march by about 2,000 people through central Athens ended peacefully. Clashes broke out in Thessaloniki as well, where protesters threw petrol bombs at the police following the end of the march. A construction site in the city's new metro system was set ablaze. Firefighters rushed to the site to put out the flames. Exarchia, the district where Alexandros Grigoropoulos was murdered, was turned again into a battlefield. The rioters overturned trash bins and set them alight as they hurled petrol bombs and rocks at riot police. Michalis Sarabadzoglu, Euronews, Athens. Well, joining me from outside the parliament in Athens is Faye Dulcari. Good morning, Faye. Um, can you just give us a bit of perspective? Why does the death of this teenager still provoke such anger? Good morning from Athens. Uh, let me start by saying that everything came to normal uh, late last night. Uh, besides, the residents of this area are used to situations like that uh, because the anarchists clash with the police in Exarchia uh, almost every other night. Uh, and in the specific day, every year, uh, we have two demos, two normally peaceful demos by people that want to send a message against excessive uh, police force. And then the anarchists uh, every day that year, uh, they clash in Exarchia, in the place where Alexandros Grigoropoulos was shot dead uh, with um, the policemen. Uh, so, the death of Alexandros Grigoropoulos uh, sparked uh, a lot of anger and became a symbolic event for the people that fight against uh, police brutality. And there is a lot of frustration because the policeman that shot dead Alexandros Grigoropoulos was convicted and sentenced, but uh, his appeals trial is still ongoing. And the second policeman that was with him uh, that day, he was sentenced to 10 years uh, of prison, uh, but he is already uh, out. So, as you understand, uh, there is still a lot of frustration because a lot of people think that, that justice is not done yet.